Russia's threats to invade Ukraine continue, and as the situation unfolds across the globe, it could have some impacts right here. WDRB's Katrina Nichols spoke with two professors on changes the conflict could bring to Kiana. Katrina? A professor I spoke to said the consequences aren't bad yet, but if the two countries do go to war, we will notice a lot of changes, especially to our wallets. While conflict between Russia and Ukraine has existed well beyond these last few months, the two countries' chances of going to war has grown significantly. It is true that there are historic ties going back a, a, a thousand years, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that the Russian state should control the Ukrainians. Russian troops continue to inch closer into Ukraine territory, and the U.S. is finding itself involved because of economics. Russia still sells a lot of oil and gas to Europe, so that that um, it could destabilize the energy markets, um, which would affect every, you know global trade in, in general. But beyond global economic impacts, it's making an impact here in Kentuckyana, right here at the gas station. A single barrel of oil now costs a hundred dollars. Russia is a major producer of oil. Anything bad happening in um, uh, with Russia? price of oil goes up. Alexei Izumov is an economics professor at UofL. He says as of now, the economic impacts are not as bad as expected, but says if the conflict escalates to a full-on war, America will see the price of more things increase. Inflation will accelerate and the uh, uh, U.S. will have to help European allies more economically and spend more on military assistance. America could also see some changes at the grocery store. Ukraine and Russia are also one of the world's largest producers of wheat, and disruption could cause further supply chain issues. Companies that use these materials will suffer and their profits will suffer. It is possible America could put down more sanctions on Russia if they continue to move forward with invading Ukraine. Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.